Once an ingot is cast, it is taken to the rolling department to be scalped. Here, the ingot's top and bottom is shaved, removing surface imperfections and impurities and giving it a mirror-like surface. The ingot is then preheated to make it pliable for rolling and establish its metallurgical properties. This is done in one of Warwick Operation's two new pusher furnaces or in a box furnace. The rolling process begins at the reversing mill, which reduces the thickness of the 40,000-pound ingot by passing it back and forth between large rollers powered by two 7,000-horsepower motors. This first stage of hot rolling, done when the ingot is about 900 degrees Fahrenheit, reduces its thickness from 21 inches to 1.5 inches and lengthens it from 30 feet to 400 feet long. Hot rolling continues after the flying shear cuts the head and tail off the aluminum slab when the six-stand continuous mill further flattens the metal to one-eighth of an inch thick. At the end of the continuous mill, the aluminum is coiled for the first time and is about one mile long. The next step is cold rolling. After cooling off to 200 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, the metal goes into one of Warwick's two cold mills, where it is reduced to its final gauge of thickness. Moving at speeds near 60 miles per hour, the metal leaves the cold mill just thousands of an inch thick. When the rolling process is complete, an ingot that began as a block of metal 30 feet long and 21 inches thick leaves as a coil that, if unwound, could stretch 10 miles. From here, the aluminum goes to the finishing department to be prepared for shipping to our customers.